Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? What's up guys? Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm going to share one important tip to keep your home network organized. And that tip is label your ethernet cables. That's right. And on today's episode, we'll do this quickly, easily, and for less than two dollars. That's right, less than two bucks. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is open a word processor, like Microsoft Word. Then type in all the locations. I've got 16. Make sure you double space it and keep the font small, like 10 or 11 or 12. Select bold and make sure the font that you choose is easy to read. And next, we'll go ahead and print off the pages. and everything looks really good. It's bold and legible. Perfect. Now it's time to cut them all out. And just one more quick look to make sure everything is spelled correctly. It all looks good. And let's start cutting. So the goal here is to cut these out into small pieces. You want the smallest amount of paper possible to wrap around the ethernet cable. And we're going to use regular clear tape to secure the labels to the ethernet cables. And once we start attaching the labels to the ethernet cables, we can even trim down the paper even smaller before we attach them to the cables. And guys, one more thing. Make sure to hit the like button and share this video. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Okay, now it's time to label the ethernet cables. As you can see, we have quite a few labels here. I think we have 16. There's a good chance that your network is much smaller than this, so it should be much easier. And once again, guys, we spent less than $2 on these labels. And really, we probably spent less than a dollar. So now, let's get to labeling. As I started to label these wires, I removed a little bit more paper from the label, keeping the label tiny as possible. And this network cable tester is a great tool to help you find locations of wires when you're not sure where they go. But fortunately for us, we know where they all go. So I started my labels at the router, the fiber modem, the ICX switch, and the cloud. Now I'll label the cable that goes to the router. And I'm also gonna label the fiber optic cable. We'll label it demarcation. Now we'll start with the TP-Link 8 port switch. And we have eight ethernet cables to label. So if you don't have a network cable tester and you're not sure where the wire goes, unplug the wire and find the device in the house that has no internet. Like this. And that's my computer. And I'll show you one more time. This is my wife's computer and no internet. So now I want to give you a couple tips about labeling your cables. When you attach the labels, make sure they face the front and they all face the same way. You don't want labels facing different directions. It makes it hard to read. And make sure the font that you choose is easy to read. And keep that font small and add bold. And keep the label short in terms of words. Maybe try to abbreviate some words. You don't want a really long label. So what is the benefit of labeling your ethernet cables? Well, first, it keeps your network organized. It looks good. And most importantly, if there's an issue with your network, it's very easy to trace where the issue is coming from. Without labels, it's kind of a guessing game. So take my advice and label your ethernet cables. You're gonna thank me later. Well guys, we're all done here. And as usual, I wanna thank you for watching. 
And I encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.